my name's Will. I'm manager of Majestic Wines in Chichester. I've been with Majestic for nearly 10 years. Today we're going to look at the often forgotten noble grape variety that is Riesling. It's such a shame that this variety is often tainted by association with uh, cheaper Liebfromilchen, Hock and the like. It has its origins in the Moselle Valley in Germany, uh, thrives in a cooler climate and often the best examples come from really poor stony soils planted at very steep angles towards the sun. The first wine we're going to taste today from the Northern Hemisphere, the Moselle Zarua Valley, Dr. Els Riesling from Ernst and Thomas Lucen. Since taking over from his father in 1988, Ernst Lucen has won many awards, most recently Decanter Man of the Year and International Wine Challenge White Wine Maker of the Year. German Rieslings are characterised by their sweetness, which should always be offset by balancing acidity. The drier styles are those of Cabernet, rising to Spettlaser, Auschlaser, Biernauschlaser and the sweetest examples, Trockenbiernauschlaser. Dr. L fits in neatly round about the Cabernet level of sweetness, which is one of the drier styles of German Riesling. Let's have a taste. Lovely and pale in the glass, just a hint of sort of a green to it as well. getting lime and green apple and sort of floral white flowers on the nose. Really fresh, just a hint of sort of slaty minerality just hiding in the background there. Medium dry on the palate, but lovely and crisp and refreshing. Green apples again, white flowers. Think of sort of apple blossom, lime, citrus, and just in the background again, that sort of slaty wet stone minerality. I think this wine's perfectly suited for summer drinking. It's light and fresh at only 8.5%. You could drink it any time of day, perfect for lunch parties. It would work very well with white fish and light salads. Well, we've tasted the best that the Northern Hemisphere has to offer. Let's go halfway around the world and try something from Australia, the Clare Valley to be precise. Here we have Napstein's hand-picked Riesling. Clare Valley is a cool climate area just north of Adelaide in South Australia. With warm sunny days and long cool nights, the Riesling vines have a long hang time, more time to develop all those wonderful complex flavours. The Clare Valley region was founded by immigrants in the 19th century who brought with them vine cuttings of Riesling. Napstein Winery itself is a little bit younger. Founded in 1974, this winery has rapidly built up an international reputation for producing classic Australian Riesling. Let's have a quick taste of Napstein Riesling. Wow, that's pretty distinctive. It's classic Australian Riesling, pure lime marmalade and citrus fruits in abundance. Still got that sort of floral blossom character. It's certainly different to the German Riesling in style. It's bone dry, just a prickle of pétillance that keeps the wine fresh on the palate. This is a fairly complex wine. If I had to choose a food to match this fantastic wine with, I'd go for aromatic Asian cuisine, perhaps a, a spicy Thai green curry. Okay, so on the one hand, we've got this delicate, light, fresh Riesling from the Northern Hemisphere, Dr. L. Perfect for those who prefer their wines with a slightly more sort of off dry style. If, however, you do prefer the drier style, look towards Australia and this classic Riesling from the Clare Valley, both of which I think are delicious. I'll let you make up your own mind which you think is best. Mm -hmm.